Yes, let me in. I'm in the tree. Underground world. It's a maze. I've seen this before in one of the books. <laughs> yes. It's the book with everything in it, hopefully. Oh, I've straight up teleported. There's a whole nother world in here. Oh my god. With tree houses and everything. I was gonna say, the island seemed kind of small. Like, there wasn't much that's happening. Now, I think I'm gonna need to take some pictures here. Because... I think all these levers need to be pulled a certain way. And I remember, like, it was mentioned in a book. Or not mentioned in a book, like, there was a diagram in a book. Or I could try to figure out what I'm trying to do. Like, it looks like I'm trying to pump water somewhere. I think I should find my goal first. Alright, well, what's, what's this thing here? Okay, this here actually pumps the water. So then from here... I mean, I don't know where I want to take it. Or if I even want to direct it anywhere. All I know is it goes in both directions. I assume that this kind of keeps the flow going in this direction down the pipe. It's a big assumption, I suppose. There's a whole windmill over there. I probably have to power the windmill? Well, anyway. Right, there's some water. What's this little lever do? That... Stop it? For a brief moment? You know, I can't quite say, actually. Righto. Okay, what else is in this area, then, besides this windmill that I can't do anything with? What else is there? Oh, there's a whole ass elevator right here. Is this also water powered? And do I also need to close the door first? You know what? It also might be water powered. So that's my way up. So the other door must be the way down. All right, well, let's see if I can power this elevator, huh? Here's what I'm not sure about though. Like I, I can't tell if actually having the stick go in the same direction of the pipe directs the water there or if it blocks the water there. I, I think both could be equally feasible. I'm gonna say with that it directs the water. So with that in mind, let's see what I can set up. Sounds like there's water flowing through these pipes. I mean, it, yeah, it sounds like there's water going through here now. Maybe it works. Nice. I also cannot believe the lack of trust they have in their elevator operators. Because these would absolutely work if the doors were open. <laughs> Why can't I just have a full frontal view looking outside of the elevator for once? Now when I get up here, I should check if there's a fourth level. How high does this really go? Alright, it actually looks like we're near the top. Yeah, it really does. I'll check out this place first. Cheese and a knife. Very nice dinner. There's a note! Half of a note. Can I take this with me so I can, like, you know, combine it with the other half of the note that we're clearly going to find somewhere in here? Oh, it's the red pages! I can finally free the dude from his book. A dagger, which I can't seem to collect. It seems I can only hold so many things. A bunch of different ink, it looks like. So I was reading the book, and one of them had just a bunch of different colored ink, basically. You know what I should probably do? I should take a picture of this. I'll combine it with the other half. 
Something about turning the markers off, and I turned all of them on, so I'll need to undo that progress. But at least I have the red page. It's all coming together now. Why? <laughs> You're right there, buddy. Ooh, it's booby trapped. It's a paper shredder. The ancient device they used to tear that piece of paper in half. Alright, well, I may have to put something on here, but I can't really carry anything besides the red and blue paper. I'm actually shocked that I don't have an inventory that I can access. What's here? And it's the... Oh, it's the blue page. All right. I can free both them from their books. This... This is useless. <laughs> Someone translate for me, please, from foreign language. I hope I pushed the right button, my dear brother. Oh, he sounds way too a cocky. Very interesting device you have. Wouldn't it be a shame if someone anything spoke a foreign language in it? <laughs> Remember, hmm. he is preparing. Take only one page. Well, that's not uh, foreboding at all. Why can't I take both? I want both pages, therefore I take both. How is that uh, hard to understand? Oh, there's something up here. That <laughs> could be important. Is it gonna take me back to the main island? What? What? What kind of useless book is this? Do I need a power list with water? No, it just wasn't registering. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we should be back. I would like to hope so. Hey, we've made it to the library. We've got our pages. Let's go check out the dudes. Yeah, I got your red page for you. The dude said I had to choose, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just choose both. What do you have for me? Yes. I have your page. Thank you for bringing me the red page. You're welcome. You must continue to help. Oh, come on. Just give me the secret already. My name is Cyrus. Release the sun. Okay. I beg you to find. There's more? Uh, I don't think he's going to say anything else. He's a freaking junkie. Gets high off of red pages. Maybe his brother will be more useful. Alright, let's check out Mr. Blue Page. I got you. Yeah. Oh, please don't tell me you need more as well. All right, he needs more blue pages. I get it. Uh, either way, the thing I, I really need the other half of the white page. I could also mess around with the tower some more. Maybe there's something up the tower that can help me, like a date or time. Yeah, a date or time perhaps could be helpful. And if I find the other um, page, that'd be nice. Oh, there's only three more relevant settings. I see. I think there were four the first time. Alright, let's go check out the tower and see what's up here. Book. Ooh. Alright. 240 and 221. I'm going to assume it's for the clock. I don't know what 221 is supposed to be, but surely that's something. To the clock tower. Alright, 240. Whoop. Yep, that did the thing. There we go. Two, two, one's the other thing I gotta remember. It may or may not be for here. Who knows? But I do know there's a switch. Still do nothing. Okay. Now we're talking. Pull levers before I even know what they could do. We're operating a big gear machine. Two, two, one. 
Oh, I see the numbers here. Okay. Uh, I have one, two, one. Oh, I see. This resets. Okay. And then this does two of them. And this does a different two of them. Ah, very nice. It's weird. I actually, I can't mathematically think of a way to get to two, two, one using this rule set. Like I see two, two, one to the right, but it's not possible to just shift all of them together. Because here's the, here's the proof, right? The twos are together right now. And if I am to bring the one over, that means the twos are going to be separated. And the twos need to be together for this. I don't get it. They actually gave me something impossible. Unless if it wasn't two, two, one, but I think it was. Oh! That makes a bit of sense. Oh, if you hold it down long, you can just rotate the middle. Okay, that is solvable now. I mean, let's say it's five rotations. And then I rotate the bottom one once. I rotate the top one tw twice and then hold it. So, hold it. Ah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Missed the mechanic, but we're all good now. What is this thing, exactly? Well, I have no idea what else to do here. I might just go back to the tower for more guidance. First, maybe this map has changed things. Like, now maybe I can direct it out here, and uh, somehow that doesn't matter. There's only three directions in which it lights up red. So the only one I haven't looked at is this ship. What's weird, though, is that it skips over a little thing here. You notice that? It's like there was something I needed to do there, but I couldn't interact with anything. So let me let me try the rocket ship in the tower and see what that changes. 59 volts. Oh, that's something I can do. Something I also noticed was that this ladder has been rotating the whole time. And I can see out here. Now, I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm sure that will become apparent when the when it's important, basically. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Listen, 59 volts. I got that. I can count, and I'll count the 59. All right, it's time to add up numbers until I get to 59. I don't remember all the numbers, but I remember a few of them. I actually don't know how to do 14. Ooh, 59. Just add 7. All right, that's 59 volts. Didn't do anything spectacular, but maybe this means I can open the ship. That's what I'm hoping for. Come on, open sesame. Hell yes. Oh, it's a piano. Yes. I remember the book. I don't remember remember it, but I remember it. How about this, though, first? Oh, this is where the notes are. You input the notes into here. Yeah, all right, yeah, let's go back to that book. <laughs> and um, let's see what I can get. Right, here we are. All right, so it's C, C, E flat, F, B flat. C, C, E flat, F, B flat. All right, I got to remember that. So this is C. And then next C is like up here. And then there's E flat there. E flat, F. F is right there. And then B flat is right here. That should be it. Nice. Another book! With another whole section to go into. Alright. I assume that this is probably gonna just be a whole nother world. I gotta stop this recording. This has actually been pretty fun once I actually started getting into it. I think I spent literally an equal amount of time trying to find what ended up being that piece of paper and actually solving puzzles. And the solving puzzle part has been nice. Nothing like extraordinary, just kind of cool. I will pick it up next time. Peace.